Welcome back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro. Today I'm joined by my dear friend and colleague, Michael Prisdale. I'm really excited to have you on the show, Michael. Uh, you know, you're one of the few that in America actually earned the pin of certified master mixologist, which I know is not very easy. I know it's actually very thorough and a very difficult process, but the good news is today, <laughs> We're just here on my show and we're uh, gonna casually make a very cool drink called the eggnog. So, tell us what you got. Well, thank you so much for having me here on the show today, Livio. As you know, um, for me, it's one of those things where, you know, you've brought on so many different cocktails and so many different people to help, you know, assist with the recipes and making the actual drinks themselves. And being somebody born on the East Coast myself, I love nothing more than making this classic recipe for my friends and family during the holidays. The history of the eggnog can trace itself back to several different countries. It can go to England, to Canada, all throughout. And one of the beauties of eggnog itself is that the actual term itself was uh, coined by the New Jersey Journal in 1788. So it's something that historically I feel is kind of near and dear to my heart. Right, you were born in New Jersey, is that correct? 100%. I love it, I love it. Okay, well I didn't even know that tidbit, but I'm glad, see, hey. I, I knew you were here for a reason. If I could teach you one thing today, <laughs> it's that I was born in New Jersey. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so let's make this baby. Perfect, all right, well it's a very, very simple recipe. We've tweaked kind of the traditional ingredients, but the beauty of the eggnog is that regardless of what you have in your pantry and what you have at home, as far as uh, spirits and different types of alcohol, you can use almost anything and pull it off. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, it would be something more along the lines of just plain basic brandy that you would utilize today. I think that we have a, a nice aged rum that we've chosen as well as a very fine cognac and kamut. So we'll utilize those two ingredients, but we'll start with uh, some of the more heavy handed ingredients. So why don't you pass me that egg right there? You got it. There you go, sir. Perfect. I, I love our wonderful little egg cup that we have. Uh -huh. So the easiest thing to do with the egg is we're going to utilize both the whites and the yolk. Gotcha. Right, so we're gonna first crack the egg. Some people utilize the side of the tin. I feel as though that it's very, very easy to break the egg into the tin and get extra shell. So just the table itself is fine. And then you have kind of a precise point that you can kind of make sure that you're getting the, both the white and the yolk and no shell, gotcha. right? You can look in, make sure that you know, you're not compromised at all with any shell. Sweet. The second ingredient is gonna be the cream. Okay. So let's pour that bad boy. There you go. All right. How much is that? So this right here is one full ounce of heavy whipping cream. Got it, so that's one ounce and 30 milliliters. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then if you would mind handing me the simple syrup. Yep. Regular sugar works just fine. And if you're going to go with the uh, kitchen method of using a whisk and a bowl, it's very, very easy to kind of break up the sugar. But being that we're gonna shake everything in our cocktail glass today, um, it's far easier to just utilize simple syrup and it's still gonna get the same job done. Love so, it. Love arrive it. at the same point. Now we'll add in our egg, right? No shell attached, no nothing. Love it. Make sure that we get the white. And then we can move on to the spirits. Okay. So being that I'm left-handed, as are you, mm -hmm. I'll bring the jigger over to this side and go. I'll ask for one. Perfect. This is Crucian Single Estate Aged Rum. Fantastic product. Love it. Um, and we're just gonna use one ounce of each spirit, right? If you're utilizing brandy at home or just rum or just one particular spirit that you happen to have in the shelf and you're running for, a, you know, to get the party started for all of your guests that are coming, then it's fine to just utilize two ounces of whatever you might have at home. Got it. Cool. Interesting. Very cool. Give that right Alrighty. back. And there you go, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites to uh, pair with a cigar. I love the, the whole entire cognac and cigar pairing. I feel like the, uh, the spectrum is so much higher as far as like all the aromatics and everything that you get from cognac or just brandy itself. Very cool. Yeah, and I know I kind of possibly short sold you a little bit at the intro because yes, you are an expert in cocktails, but <laughs> you are about just as much an expert in cigars as well, which is really fascinating. Thank you. Yeah. The uh, the legal drinking age in uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada, and pretty much all of the U.S. is 21, but the legal smoking age to consume a cigar is 18. So I actually have an extra three years of experience <laughs> smoking cigars than I do making cocktails, which is kind of kind of fun. That's awesome. So now there's a couple of different uh, ways that we can go about incorporating and emulsifying the egg along with the rest of the cocktail at this point. We can utilize a strainer and actually take the spring right out of the strainer, throw that in there and shake everything together and we'll get the same kind of emulsification as if we whisked everything together. Got it. 
But the beauty of the set here at Master Your Glass is that we have this wonderful ice, right? These really, really nice, dense, thick cubes. And that's also going to achieve the same amount of emulsification as we would get from the spring. We just have to make sure that when we shake it, we shake it hard, we shake it fast, we shake it with a smile. Cool, right? So being that we took some egg out of this one first, to make sure that we didn't have any shell in it, we're just gonna add the ingredients into the base shaker and then we'll give it a tap at the bottom just to make sure that everything is nice and sealed. Right? Love it. And then it's all about the hard shape. I love it. I love it, I love it. I thought you were left-handed. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Never turn your back to the host or the guest, you know? God, it makes sense. All righty. A couple of taps and we're, we break the seal. This off to the side. And now we can grab our glass. And if you wouldn't mind providing me with that wonderful Hawthorne strainer that you have there. There you go, sir. Excellent. We can then top off our glass with our cocktail. With Love my it. left hand. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Yeah. And now there are a couple of different methods that you can garnish the drink. Um, I prefer to definitely add some spice to it. So the addition of nutmeg as well as cinnamon, we'll use our master your glass microplane. <laughs> and just uh, fresh is always better than the ground ingredients. So when you're at the store, if uh, you can stumble across a little bit of fresh cinnamon and fresh nutmeg whole, and then grate it right on top, that's gonna give you the most aromatic, the freshest flavors, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if you wouldn't mind passing me the tongs. Uh -oh. Oh, I got it. We can take one of our cinnamon sticks and we can utilize that as the garnish. Very pretty. And there you have it, the Master Your Glass Eggnog. Would you like to try? Oh, you better believe it. I've been waiting all day. Mm. Oh yeah, those the aromatics, the wonderful uh, aroma coming from both the nutmeg and the cinnamon stick. I'm smelling a holiday, I'm smelling the fireplace, I'm smelling, you know, Santa's coming. Forgot about the elf, too. He's on his way. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness, so good. But the, the really nice thing about it is, I mean, there's egg, there's cream, there's simple syrup, which in essence is sugar water. There's brandy, dark rum. This actually is an easy drinking drink, which I don't know how sometimes magic comes together when you use premium ingredients. Magic really comes together when a cocktail is crafted by somebody who knows what they're doing. And out comes this really nice drinkable uh, beverage that I really enjoy. Mm. Oh man. So as I was mentioning earlier, mm -hmm. right, I, this just came to mind is um, I know you are uh, really in into cigars and that's kind of one of your other passions. It's, Absolutely. It's your expertise slash two or slash B. <laughs> um, what cigar would you actually uh, smoke with this cocktail? Well, I'm glad that you brought it up because I actually brought you a cigar today. Oh, cool. That you can enjoy with the cocktail. I love it. So what I was thinking of when we were talking about the drink initially and coming onto the show and creating it was exactly what I would normally smoke with the eggnog, right? And for me, it's always been about, um, there's really three different ways that you can pair a cigar with a spirit or even a cocktail for that matter. You can go with the harmony route, mm -hmm. which is one of them is gonna essentially complement the other, right? There's common flavors, but nobody's really gonna clash or try to take over on your palate. Then there is the contrast style. And that means that you have usually two bold flavors, one of them's gonna win, but at least you'll get the complement of one before the other or one after the other. And they kind of work even though on the onset you would think, ah, lime and ginger, but it makes a meal, mm -hmm. right? So th that would be the contrasting style. So the last way that I would say you could really pair a cigar along with a spirit or a cocktail would be with just a neutral style where neither one of them are really going to affect the other to a greater extent. And I think that one of the best pairings with this particular cocktail would be something like a Petit Robusto, similar Very to nice. the Trinidad Bahia that I brought for you. Very nice. So this particular cigar itself has just a wonderful kind of creamy essence to it. It's not gonna be something that the most seasoned smoker is going to always think of first, 
come to mind as far as like, oh, okay, let me go into the humidor and grab the kind of rich, creamy one. Usually most of like the really passionate cigar smokers out there have like a set stick that they go to because they usually have a set beverage. But for somebody who's trying out cigars for the first time or maybe just wants to experiment a little bit, so they're trying an eggnog, you know, with a cigar for the first time, this is a great overall smoke to go towards and anything kind of in this flavor spectrum because you get that complimentary flavor. You got the rich creaminess from the egg yolk and the egg white along with the cream, and then you get the rich creaminess from the cigar. Wow, you know what you're talking about. All right, I'm gonna take another sip of this. I am not a huge cigar smoker, but you really, really explain that so well that I'm finally realizing why it makes sense that I would want a cigar with this beverage. Uh, to everybody, a uh, happy holiday from Master Glass. If you like this episode, please hit like, and if you learned something, Please subscribe to the channel and come back to Master Glass where you get more expert instruction for everyday consumption. Salud! <laughs>